Hey guys, I'm Mike Sabunchi and welcome to On The Trail. We are in the Alabama Hills and it is beautiful. Why did we choose the Alabama Hills? Because it is one of the most historical places in all of off-roading, specifically in Southern California. Why is it historical? A, it's got great movie history. B, it's got Mount Whitney right behind us. And then C, it's got access to some of the most beautiful off-road trails in the area. Today, we're gonna to take you up through the movie flat road up into the reward mine. And that's where our trail gets really exciting. The first stretch of our adventure takes us down movie flat road. It's called movie flat road for a couple reasons. One, they've been filming movies here since the 1920s. Two, over 400 movies have been filmed right in this location. Everything from John Wayne to Django Unchained. This place is pretty historical. We're bringing a nice variety of vehicles to the trail. We got my personal GX470, ran a Netto Tire Ridge Grapplers. We got a 2019 Ford Ranger built by LGE. It's a beautiful green color. That's gonna look amazing in the dirt. That's running Netto Trail Grapplers. And then we got a 2018 Chevy Silverado running Netto Terra Grapplers. Three different tires, all on the same trail, and they're gonna do really well. When you come up here, you gotta make sure you make time to camp. The views behind me are what it's all about. Waking up to those mountains is the reward itself. Things you're gonna need for this trail. One, a spare tire, that's a must. Every truck needs one. Two, some sort of basic tool kit, just in case you need to turn a wrench. Three, recovery gear, that gives yourself a way out. Four, buddies, that's to help use that recovery gear. And then lastly, food and water. We're in the desert, it's dry, you gotta make sure you stay hydrated and fed. on Movie Flat Road. It's the main drag all the way through the Alabama Hills area. The best part about Movie Flat Road is you have this amazing view of the Eastern Sierras to the left. It kind of just sets the mood the whole trip. This road takes you all the way through Alabama Hills up into Manzanar, and it's gonna be our connection into the more difficult part of the terrain. But the best part about this road really is that anyone can come out here in any car or truck or any rig in general. Uh, our trucks are a little prepared for some some serious terrain, but you can take just about anything out here if you don't mind getting it dirty and getting it dusty. But if you just want to enjoy some great views and get your car dirty and enjoy the outdoors, this is the place to be. The cool thing about this road is it's pretty much a road, very low traveled road and it's just us back here. Nice little single track through some varying terrain. We just did a, a river crossing and uh, we're heading into some high ground here. After we're done with this road, we're gonna head off into the reward mine road. And so this is the very last section of really easy off-roading.
right guys, you can see we are stopped here at an old decommissioned airport. This is actually the Manzanar Airport and it looks pretty dang interesting with the weeds growing through the runway. Over on my right is the Manzanar Historical Site and that site has an interesting place in American history. It was the internment camp used in World War II to house thousands of Japanese Americans. It makes this area very, very interesting and you owe it to yourself to go check it out. But to my left, the road continues and we are headed into the reward mine. We just stopped for lunch on our way into the reward mine. We stopped in this place called Eclipse Canyon. But while we were having lunch, we saw this really rad road leading up into this abandoned mine. So we said, hey, let's just drive up it. Yeah. And what better place to showcase this rad Ranger built by LGE? Uh, Teresa, Sarah, tell me what you have done to this truck. Yeah, so this is a 2019 Ford Ranger. Um, we pretty much did everything to it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have the Stage 7 Icon kit. So basically it has coilovers, uh, bypasses, billet upper arms, skid plates, um, pretty much the whole nine yards. And it has the shocks that go through the bed to give us that extra travel that we need. So we have this uh, custom PPG uh, paint color. Um, it's kind of a golden green color. Ch Beautiful. Changes as the sun hits it. We had to make it look good too, you know. So. <laughs> But it's all so uniform. It looks so well put together. It's a beautiful truck. Thank you. We like we like them to look good and to perform. And we like getting why, it dirty. Why would you build right? a truck and not use it? Exactly. Why would you build a truck you know? and not use it? Well, now that we heard a lot about your truck, we're not done. We still have to go into the heart of darkness. That is the reward mine. You guys ready? Yeah. All right. Let's go. Awesome. Go. Okay. Now hard start. Towards me. The road gets really, really, gradually more and more difficult, and now we are in the section where you will definitely need four-wheel drive. In fact, we're at an obstacle here where I'm definitely going to need a spot. Well, it looks like an easy road. There's some sharp rocks pointing out left and right, and <clears throat> it definitely helps to have someone telling you where to go so you don't pop tires. We do have a spare on top, and that was one of the items on our checklist that you're going to need a spare uh, for obstacles like this. So we're going to get out and uh, see if we can get over this obstacle without getting uh, a place. truck's gonna make it through? I don't know about Well, you can drop the trailer. Yeah. Who's gonna go first? I think the shorter truck, the truck should sure. go first. From what I read, the best turnaround spot's a half mile in. 
So I don't know what's in the reward mine. I just know that I had a side bet that it would be colder than it is outside, and it is very cold right now. I can it's feel the cold. Very dark in there. I can feel the cold there. It's dark. Cold goes with dark. I think we're gonna have to find a turnaround spot half mile in. If we can make it a half mile in. All right, they're gonna go find out. I think they're gonna scout it on foot and maybe measure. Tim just touched the top. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's go find out. Driving up that road to get to this giant mine that you can drive your car into. some concrete walls and it gets pretty narrow and I think it's really made for a cart not a car so it's a good place to call it all right so we've made it pretty far into the reward mine and now we're at a fork in the road that's given us three directions we can go left we can go straight or we can go right and we look down the right way and it drops down about 100 or 200 feet what? and we can either keep going in or we can call it because this seems like a pretty good place to turn around Sun is setting outside. We do got to make it True. back to camp. So good point. Good point. I think we might call it. We got in pretty far, though. I know. Look at this it road. Was look at cool. Look at, I mean, we could move in here. This is bigger Seriously. than my house. <laughs> so as soon as we got to the reward mine, we were all excited to get in there, but we had to play it smart. The reward mine has very little clearance on the top. In fact, my truck and Tim's truck could not make it in. The only truck that could make it in was the LGE Ranger, and it was perfect. There was a couple spots where it was just barely at the top where it cleared the section, but the more, the further we went in there, the more exciting it got. We had to make the call to send that car in because we want to play it safe and it was the perfect call. If you get up here and you see anything out of the normal or you're not sure your truck's going to get in there, get in there, walk it, measure it, you take your time. You're out in the middle of nature. This is, the place is yours. Be safe, be smart, and you'll have a really, really, really good time out here. And speaking of having a really good time, we're about to go have a good time back at camp and we're about to head back to Alabama Hills. All right, that wraps it up for us uh, for our on the trail review of Alabama Hills and the reward mine. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. But if you know of a trail where you want us to go and there's a local trail and you want to join us, drop a comment below. T send us a picture of your truck. If you want to be on these adventures with us, let us know. We want to go with you. We don't know where all the trails are, but you do. So give us a comment, tell us where we should go, and we will be joining you. Thanks again for joining us. We will see you next time on the trail.